Hi guys and welcome back to Mrs Ogram's maths channel. This video is going to start us off with looking at a section of um, statistics which is about inferences. Now this is when you take some sample data and you infer something about the population that it came from. So any kind of analysis of um, data from a sample is trying to lead you to be able to make some inference about the population. This video is going to look at some of the simple displays that we can do when comparing um, groups of data. OK, so first up, we are going to look at a box and whisker plot and the type of details that go onto it. So we need to know the lowest value, the lower quartile, the median, the upper quartile and the highest value to be able to plot that onto a box and whisker. So we're going to use this example of the amount of money spent on um, going to the ball by some girls in year 13. So a sample of girls from year 13 was taken and asked, how much did you spend on your ball preparation? So buying the dress, doing the hair and the makeup, the transport, all of that, that sort of stuff. And we got these values. So we've got a whole bunch of dollar amounts there. We've got, uh, you can see one of the girls spent $270, another one spent 840, some of them spent nothing, that kind of stuff. Now, before we can go ahead and look at those values we saw on the previous slide of things like lowest and median, we need to sort this data. So to be able to find the middle value, for example, we need to have it in order. So here it is rewritten from smallest to largest. Now we can have a look at working out those values. So the lowest value, that's a nice easy one we can see right there, is our zero dollars. Next easy one is the highest value um, right here. So that's 840. Our median is our middle value. So we want to count inwards from the end until we get our middle value there. So if we cross them off as we go, that's an easy way to keep track of what we're doing. So we get 300 in the middle. You have to forgive my scruffy writing. I have lost my stylus, so I am doing this by hand. Next, we're going to go for the lower quartile. Now, I've just I'm just going to put those values in that we saw before. So we had the lowest value was zero, median was three hundred, and the highest was eight forty. Seem to have lost those numbers. OK, now our median was the 300. To get our lower quartile, we look at this section here below the median and we take the middle one of that. So if we count in again. We get our middle value is 200. And do the same for the upper quartile, we take the middle of that section above the median. So that'll be 470. And there's all the data that we'll need to be able to draw our box and whisker plot. So now we've got those values, we're going to put them onto a box and whisker plot. So first we need a scale. We're going to run from zero up to a maximum of 840. So our scale needs to fit. Now make sure you put a label on there. So we've got dollars spent on the ball. That's going to run from zero up to 850 to make sure that we can cover um, the values we want to put on there. So our lowest value goes in at zero, highest was 840. The lower quartile goes there on 200. We've got median and upper quartile. So those are all the values we want to put in. And then we draw it in as a box with whiskers, just like this. Now, you could also be asked to make a dot plot from the values you've been given. So each data point is plotted above a scale, stacking them where you've got more than one at a point. So if you've had three girls that spent $200, you'd see three dots above the $200 point. 
Now, just to make things a bit easier, I've used a graphing program to do this. And you can see there's a lot more data on there than we had um, on the previous uh, group of uh, girls. We only had a took a small handful there. This one's got 160 of them on there and it plots that dot plot. The more data points you have, obviously, the better, the more um, things you can conclude about it. Now, you can be asked to display these together, so you might have them overlaid like this. So you can see we've got the um, dot plot underneath with the box and whisker drawn over the top, calculated in just the same way. You also might see them separated, so the box and whisker might be sort of hovering above the dot plot. It's quite useful to have them both shown on the same diagram.